Kurt Widener, Team Salvation Sponsored Athlete, WMBF Pro Bodybuilder. Wrapping up our discussion of nutrition and meal plans, one thing I want to talk about is optimizing your nutritional sources, where you're getting your particular macronutrients from. It's important to not only recognize the amounts of macronutrients that you need to get in a day, but also where they're coming from. Because in my opinion, the sources that you use are as important as anything for optimization. <laughs> What I want to do is go through each macronutrient and talk a little bit about, about what I think are the best sources. So looking at protein, uh, where I get my protein from, chicken breast, egg whites, whole eggs from grass-fed chicken so that you're getting the omega-3s in there as well, which would cross over into your, your fat source as well. Uh, any type of, of very lean meat, whether it's venison, uh, turkey, chicken, uh, white fish, uh, the idea here is you're, you want a protein source, so you want to minimize the amount of, of animal fat that you're getting because we're going to look to get uh, fat from optimal sources as well. So rather than eating a meat that's only like 85% lean and getting a bunch of fat, animal fat with that, we'd rather go for something that's 95, 96, up to 99% lean from meats and then get our fat sources from something else. The exception to that rule is, this, is if you have the ability to control the types of fat that you're actually getting from the animal. Example of that, I include grass-fed beef in uh, my, as one of my protein sources. So for that particular meal, it serves as both the protein source and the fat source because the fat source is having omega-3s in it. Whole eggs, which is gonna provide six grams of protein, four and a half grams of fat per egg. Again, if it's, it's from grass-fed chickens, the fats that you're getting from that is actually good quality. Looking ahead to fat sources, things like um, the fat from the grass-fed beef or the whole eggs that I just mentioned. Um, also, flax oil, flaxseed meal, uh, natural peanut butter, any type of nut butter, almond butter, uh, almonds, cashews, things like that. Um, those are all high quality sources of fat. Avocado is another one. So those, those are all good sources of fat and give you plenty of alternatives for uh, you know, composing your own meals. Carbohydrates. The only type of simple carbohydrates that I think you should consume are, are from sh fruits. So the only sugars that I consume in my diet are gonna come from things like blueberries or grapefruit. Uh, apples would be fine too. Uh, and then the vast majority of my, my carbohydrates are going to be complex carbohydrates that are, are grain-based, things like oats, sweet potatoes, uh, quinoa, all going to be high in fiber, um, as well as other nutrients. Um, so those give you a few options uh, as far as different sources of, of the various nutrients that you need to include in your diet. In the morning.